What's up, everybody? I'm the Nerf Modding Nerd, and this is Nerf News episode 101. So starting off today, we have a little bit of news about Ragnar Oktoberfest. Ragnar Oktoberfest 2021, which usually takes place around October, is sadly going to be canceled due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was canceled last year, 2020, and due to travel concerns and wanting to make sure that everyone is safe, they're canceling it again this year. But they are already starting to plan 2022, so hopefully with the pandemic gone, we will be able to have Ragnar Oktoberfest 2022 in the same way that we had previously. Previous Ragnar Oktoberfests in person with all the vendors and the HVZ events and everything like that. Next up, we have Out of Darts, who has finally released his Proton Pack after, I believe, two years in the making. This is going to be selling for $165 base price on OutofDarts.com, and I believe that it is definitely worth that price, as Out of Darts products are all well-made and well-tested, so they work fantastic. And if you don't know, this is designed for Rival Blasters to be a backpack that feeds Rival Blasters very, very fast, so you can get, like, 30, 60 rounds a second, something like that. There's different options on here. If you go with the DIY kit, it is $165 but if you go with the fully assembled version, it is 215 There's currently only one color available, which is the Galaxy Black with Prusa Blue, but I expect, knowing out of darts, that he will be selling other colors shortly. You can also choose what kind of container you want, and then what blaster adapter you need, so if you don't want any blaster adapter, meaning that you're making it yourself, it's the same base cost. If you want it for the Jupiter, it's $12 extra, Chaos is $18 extra, Perseus is $25 extra, and then just something for a rival magazine, is $8 extra, and then a universal bolt-on is another $8. You can also choose to supply your own battery or have Luke ship one with it, so if you do want him to ship a 3S LiPo, it is $32 extra, and then you can also pay for the charger alarm and bag on top of that as well. And he does sell replacement parts such as the blaster adapters if you don't purchase it with the proton pack itself, the container adapter ring, the swivel coupler at a 90 degree angle and a straight angle, hose clips for the tubing, the motor for it, and then the container and these are all available on outofdarts.com as well. If you are interested in picking one of these up, I highly, highly recommend it because Luke does a great job with designing and manufacturing these, so if you do think this would be of an interest, I definitely would say that it's worth it, but obviously that is a personal choice. Next up, we have a 3D printed replacement for the Nerf Rival Rechargeable Pack, or the six D-cell batteries that you have to put in many of the Rival Blasters. So if you don't know, Hasbro has sold their own rechargeable version of the six D-cells that you have to put in Rival Blasters. And while it does work better than the D-cells, it is pretty expensive, which can be annoying if you need to buy a lot of them or if you are on a budget. Blaster Hub has made a 3D printed version of this, which lets a subsea nickel metal hydride pack plug into the blaster and actually function well. There are files available on things and they have instructions on how to actually put this together as they aren't selling them. They only have the files on Thingiverse, so you do have to have your own 3D printer or have somebody print it for you. But this is definitely great because the Hasbro rechargeable pack is quite expensive and is getting rarer now. Like the minimum cost I was able to actually find it at somewhere like a trusted retailer was like $75 to $100, which is just ridiculous. So I definitely recommend printing this if you do have a 3D printer and are in need of one of these. And last but not least, we have The Verge magazine, which actually made an entire article in the tech section about all of the different blasters made by Out of Darts and Captain Slug. I would definitely recommend checking this out, as I'm not going to read the whole article in a video, obviously, but it is quite interesting and hopefully will bring some publicity into the hobby. But that is going to be it for today's episode of Nerf News. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm the Nerf Modding Nerd, and I'll see you next time.